One thing that I was really reminded of these past few days is that I need to have a much higher index of suspicion for a possible stroke, especially in patients who are demented and you know, you oftentimes just chalk it up to delirium for why they're a little bit altered in the middle of the night. And sometimes they have a lot of baseline weakness, so it's hard to tell if they have a focal neurological deficit. But even in patients without focal neurological deficits, who just have this change in mental status, I think I need to have a higher index of suspicion for considering stroke and potentially getting a CT of their head. This is kind of like the second time this has happened to me where a delirious patient started to become a little more altered, you know, from ANO times three to maybe like only answering their name. They didn't have any focal deficits, um, but now I've really figured out that I really need to do a much more thorough neuro exam on them, you know, take a look at their pupils, see if their eyes are reactive, uh, do a whole cranial nerve exam, assess their strength as best I can. And it's really hard because it's hard to call a stroke and, you know, call your neurology colleagues when there's no focal deficit that you're noticing. But this morning, uh, they did end up calling a stroke code on one of the patients that was kind of a little bit altered last night, and I was considering getting a stroke uh, a CT head for them. And then in the morning, I was wondering, you know, did I not make the right call? Should I have gotten that CT head overnight? Because obviously, if they are having a stroke, it is very, very much of the essence to get that CT head uh, as soon as possible so that they can qualify for certain interventions. So when I was an intern on the VA, uh, there was this patient who all of a sudden became altered. And at that time, you know, they didn't have any neurological deficits. And I just, I didn't get a CT at that time. And they ended up having like a massive, massive stroke. And um, that was kind of tough for me. I, I think that was a really big learning lesson for me. This time, it was kind of the similar thing, and I think I triaged it a little bit better. And in the end, when they called the stroke code in the morning, uh, they ended up not seeing anything on the CT, and they thought low suspicion of stroke. Uh, the patient ended up becoming kind of back at baseline, ANO times four, uh, later in the morning. So that was a big relief because um, in the end, this patient didn't have stroke. But what I really took away from this is that I need to be doing a much, much more thorough neurologic exam and have a lower threshold for getting a CT scan in patients who have altered mental status for unclear reason in the hospital, um, even if they don't have any neurologic deficits. So that's something I'm definitely going to take away from this week.